Michael Ignatieff, in case you were wondering where he went, butted into Spain's secession crisis Sunday on CNN. He said Catalonia has no right to independence because they haven't been invaded or bombed. They're not being kept in Spain by coercive force. There are no tanks in the streets in Barcelona. Then he smugly explained how Canada avoided being destroyed by Quebec separatism. I speak here as a Canadian, Farid, and we went through a near-death experience with Quebec in the 90s. It's nice to see he makes no more sense than he ever did. You don't have to be attacked to demand your independence. Catalonians have that right. So do Scots. And by the way, Canada hasn't been so uniquely sensible or pacific. Mass support for Quebec independence only arose after the federal government sent the army in during the 1970 FLQ crisis. Well, well, there's a lot of bleeding hearts around who just don't like to see people with helmets and guns. All I can say is uh, go on and bleed, but it's more important to keep law and order in this society. How far would you go with that? How far would you extend that? Well, just watch me. That led to Quebec's first separatist government and decades of national unity trauma. Nationalism was the first modern form of identity politics. It takes both ugly and attractive forms. It isn't going away, and it won't get its rules dictated by experts like Ignatieff. If Canada has something to offer here, it isn't smugness. It's more likely our weirdly proud, even strident brand of nationalism that has no particular content and encourages every group to be itself. People come here from everywhere else, and feel relieved, even if it's a little bland. In fact, because it's a little bland, unnationalism might be our contribution to nationalism. But it's hard to imagine it being duplicated elsewhere. For the Toronto Star, I'm Rick Salutin.